In this video, I'll show you how I went from this horror show and this 3D printed graveyard of parts to lovely, clean 3D printed parts time and time again. So the first stage of the setup is fairly standard. I've ended up not using the build tax service for larger parts. I didn't have as much success as with this perf board. And you might be fairly unsurprised to hear that I just use some standard pads with no additives. Some of these pads come with um, all kinds of things like lanolin and skincare additives, and they have the effect of greasing the surface and makes your print not stick. So the plainest, cheapest cotton wool pads you can get. And acetone, standard acetone that you can get from a pharmacist, not nail varnish remover, as that has all kinds of different additives in, which can uh, hinder the adhesion of the ABS. So first stage is pretty simple. I'm just gonna wipe the surface and it's amazing how much actually comes off. You can see there's all kinds of grease and stuff coming off there and I generally use a new pad for each operation. So, so far, so standard. The next part is something I haven't really seen anyone else do. So do let me know if you do this yourself and it's to use a hairdryer. Now this has two effects. A, it heats the bed up to the correct temperature around about 90 degrees, but it also heats the chamber. The Up Mini 2 has a enclosed but unheated chamber and that has really, really improved the ability for large prints like this to adhere to the surface. So let's get on that, let's heat it up and I'll put the, um, the camera on the screen so we can see it in action. So now this is on the heated cycle, it's on 27 degrees at the moment, it's slow, 22 degrees at the moment, and it heats up very, very slowly. Keep an eye on that second number there, and I'll speed this up. Now I tend to heat it just to about 100 degrees, and even though that's too hot, by the time I've finished slicing, and sending the print, it will be about the right temperature. So why this is a good process is it doesn't just heat the bed, get that to a good temperature quickly, but it heats the chamber. That front glass plate is already, or perspex plate is already pretty warm and a heated build chamber is essential on the really expensive bigger Stratasys printers and things like that. On a small hobbyist printer, we don't have heated build chambers, but a, a stable uh, temperature is definitely something that's gonna help. Here we're just waiting for the nozzle to hit the correct temperature. And the bed's down to about 80, which is um, approaching ideal. So as we hit the print temperature, you can see we're around about 92% of the bed temperature, which is pretty much perfect, really. I'm really happy with that. And I'm now confident enough to be printing four parts at one on this machine. So if anything, you can hear the nozzle clicking a little bit Probably the nozzle's a little bit too close, but I've found it's better that than the alternative. And it's not so close that I don't get proper adhesion and I've been getting some excellent prints out of it, so I'm really happy. This is the finished part plate. It's got four of the MPCNC supports in there and they've printed really, really well. And even though we've got four different parts all printed on the same bed, we've got beautiful adhesion right across the way and uh, no complaints from me. It's maybe four times more efficient, so uh, happy days. So there you have it. If you didn't know it already, getting your 3D print stick is all about your beauty products. Makeup removers and hair dryers, it turns out, will solve all of your 3D printing woes. Onto our channel of the day, and it's Graz Makes. This guy is the YouTuber that I wish I could be. Not only are his videos extremely informative, but they're really, really funny. So uh, make sure you subscribe to him. He's already made an MPCNC, which uh, gets two big thumbs up in my book. So if you like these videos, do like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know in the comments below how you managed to get your 3D prints to stick. We're doing videos every Wednesday and Friday now. So until then, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video.